Hello, welcome to you all in our channel Banking Preparation. Today's topic is e-governance and this topic is very much important for those who are preparing for competitive examination. We all know that the world is totally digitalized and due to the rapid rise of internet and digitalization, governments all over the world are initiating steps to involve IT in all governmental processes. So this is the concept of e-government. This is to ensure that the government administration become a swifter and more transparent process. This is the reason why e-governance importance increasing day by day. Now let's start the video. E-governance stands for electronic governance is the integration of information and communication technology in all the processes with the aim of enhancing government ability to address the needs of general public. The application of information technology and communication for the purpose of governance is commonly known as e-governance. Through e-governance, information can be made distributed to the general public in a transparent manner. The basic purpose of e-governance is to simplify processes for all the level that is government, citizens, business, etc. at national, state and local level. UNESCO defined e-governance is the public sector's use of information and communication automation in order to upgrade information and service delivery, stimulating resident involvement in the decision-making process and making government more liable, unambiguous and productive. Therefore, in conclusion, we can say that electronic governance is the use of electronic means to promote good governance. It means the implementation of information technology in the government processes and functions so as to cause simple, moral, accountable and transparent governance. Similarly, the access and delivery of government services, the dissemination of information and communication in a quick and effective manner is also known as e-governance. Now have a look some benefits of e-governance. Through the e-governance, all the government processes become digitalized. That's the reason that there is a high chances of reduction in corruption. At the same time, when there is an online transaction of government, there is a high transparency and the general public can easily overlook the, all the government uh, rules and regulation and their work through the online system. So there is a high chances of transparency, increased convenience, the benefits derived from electronic services that allow the users to enjoy remote assist of 24 by 7, encountering less administrative burden, avoiding waiting time, etc. Next one is reduction in overall cost. E-government is very much cost effective. For example, if government wants to seek a public opinion on an issue with electronic government system, it can take a survey and the opinion come very fast and extremely low cost. It is obvious that implementation of e-government not only saves resources, effort and money, but it can also extensively increase the service quality levels and reducing time spent in government departments. So this one is very much effective. Inclusive governance. E-governance helps in building trust between governments and citizens. An essential factor in good governance by using internet-based strategies to involve citizens in the policy processes. Therefore, e-governance helps to increase the transparency and accountability. With the help of that, the government and general public relations become stronger and they will connect it easily. High level of trust on government. For any government to survive or maintain or keep control of power, such government must win the trust of the majority of the citizens. With the help of e-governance, it can achieve through improving transparency, accuracy, and facilitating information transformation between government and citizen. Therefore, reduced corruption, high transparency, increased convenience, reduction in overall cost, inclusive governance, and high level of trust on government are some of the benefits of e-governance. Thus, we can conclude that through e-governance, the government plans to raise the coverage and quality of information and services provided to the general public by the use of information and communication technology in an easy, economical and effective manner. It is known as e-governance. Besides this all benefits, we cannot deny that e-governance is one of the extremely complicated process because uh, it requires the proper arrangement of hardware, software, networking and re-engineering and this might be a difficult to adopt the e-governance in developing countries like Nepal. Instead of that, the Nepal government also initiating the e-governance in different sector of government services. Now let's discuss these some important types of e-governance. 
first one is government to government g2z where information is exchanged within the government that is either between the central government state government and local governments or between different branches of the same government number second government to citizen g2c where the citizens have a platform through which they can interact with the government and get access to the variety of public services offered by the government number third government to business g2b where businesses are able to interact with the government seamlessly with respect to the services of the government offered to businesses number fourth government to employees g2e where interaction between the government and its employees occurs in an efficient and speedy manner it provides online facilities to the employees similarly applying for leave reviewing salary payment record and checking the balance of holidays which really helps to the employees to carry their work very smooth manner and it also helps to save the time and cost in conclusion e-governance can only be possible if the government is ready for it it is not a one-day task and so the government has to make plan and implement them before switching to it some of the measures include investment in telecommunication infra infrastructure budget resources ensure security monitor e assessment internet connectivity speed promote awareness among the public regarding the importance of e-government and support from the all government department and agencies e-government has a great role to play that improves and support all the tasks performed by the government department and agencies because it simplifies the task on the one hand and increases the quality of work on another hand so e-governance has become a popular day by day and is it is very much effective to adopt in any country and government agencies this much for today's video if you like our video please do like comment and subscribe and for more videos please watch our channel